Okay, here we are. So, just sprayed this. Uh, it's a bit shiny, so light's blazing off of it, but it's all covered now. Um, I did rub down all the facets with a bit of 2000 wet and dry. Um, then I uh, gave it a spray over with the proper silver and uh, I'm just waiting for it to dry now um, which it is I can try it on the tape here it's still a bit tacky on the tape so I'm going to leave it a few more minutes and I'll be back in a couple of seconds right I'm just finishing the unmasking now I'm doing those la those windows I done first I'm just leave them I left them to last so I can do them on camera just lift that up there, there we go. And oh, that's gone there. There you go. Now I've even managed I've even managed to mask up oh hang on, where is it? Is it gonna show it? I even managed to mask up the little window at the side. So that's all worked. Uh I can see a couple of little places where I need to just to run the burnishing stick over them. Uh, there's one just there. Little, little tiny piece. That's, that's done it. It's easy as that. As long as you catch it while it's still... Um, this has been done about an hour now. And uh, it's dry to the touch. But uh, as I said before, we're painting. I burnished, I burnished all the facets before I sprayed it. Um, as I said before, this paint that's actually just a tiny, tiny bit that's leaked over uh, has got on. Um, it comes straight off with, with just the wooden stick. You can just peel it off, it just comes straight off. Uh, the reason for that is because that hasn't been burnished. That is f such a smooth plastic, the paint can't grab it, and that's why I was having so much trouble with Tamiya paints. Um, now I give the whole model a rub over with some 2000 grit paper, I find that my paint sticks, and Tamiya seems to be painting on okay now. Um, so there we have it. Uh, that's all ready to go on the model. Now, the only thing I didn't do is it's still silver on the inside. I left that like that. I I know some internal canopies are a uh, different colour. Maybe cr uh, chrome zinc oxide or whatever it's called. I can't remember. Um, I would paint that on first, and then. I would do the silver over the top, and that way the inside canopy you get the zinc uh, that greeny colour on the inside. Or no, it's beige on this one actually. It's beige on this one. Yeah, if I'd, I would have painted it beige first, that would have given me a beige interior. Um, you, you, this canopy isn't as clear as what the other ones are, and you can see through it just about. Um, You'll be able to see through the top into all the controls and that. But apart from that, that's done. Now that's going to go away in my cupboard. Um, to be left to dry overnight. And I'll come back to it and see if I need to do anything. But I don't think so, looking at that. Now that's one of my better canopies. So, as you can see, it works. That's it for now. I hope that has helped you. Uh, 55 old school. Uh, I don't know your first name. I'll call you by first name, but I don't know. Anyway, um, that's it for now. I hope this does help you and other people. Uh, I hope I haven't sounded too con uh, condescending. But I also want these to be for like the beginners as well. So, hopefully they can complete their model to a better standard. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for 
watching and listening. Uh, if you subscribed, thank you very much. And uh, please leave comments. Very gratefully appreciated. There is one other thing. Um, no, there isn't. That's it. Good night.